Hi, John with eTrailer. Today we are looking at a draw tight class 3 receiver hitch. It's going on a 2019 Acura RDX. You have the industry standard 2 inch by 2 inch receiver opening. That's something to keep in mind if you're looking at accessories like a cargo carrier or a bike rack. You want to make sure it's a 2 inch size or it has an adapter for a 2 inch. Uh, this is powder coated black. Uh, it's kind of a satin finish on it. Not quite gloss, not quite matte. Um, your chain hooks. These will accept either the standard S-hook style or these larger, heavier-duty clevis style. Now, it does not come with the pin. If you have a cargo carrier or a bike rack, those typically do come with it. But if you're new to towing and you have a trailer, this will accept a 5 8 pin and clip. Not included. If You can pick one up on our website here. As far as weight ratings go on this hitch, you're looking at a 350-pound tongue weight rating, which is more than enough for a couple of e-bikes or a good size amount of cargo back here. Um, towing capacity, 3,500 pounds. Now, you want to check your owner's manual to make sure that you can actually tow that much. Uh, if the number is less, go with that number. So let's look at some measurements for this draw tight and how it works with the Acura. First thing I like to do is look at the ground clearance. So I'll go from the ground to the top of the inside edge on the tube here. And we're looking at about 13 and 3 quarters of an inch. The other measurement we like to do uh, is from the center of the pinhole uh, to the outside of the rear fascia on the bumper. In this instance here, it's about flush. And what does that mean for you? Uh, if you have any accessories that fold up, you're not going to have any interference issues. You're not going to have any contact with your rear bumper. So as far as installation with the draw tight hitch on this Acura, it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty simple. Um, you should be able to get this done even on your driveway just a little over half an hour. If you want to see how we did it, we can show you step by step. Okay, so we've got our Acura in the shop here. Now we put it up on a lift just to make it easier for us to show you exactly what we're doing here. This is a job that you can absolutely do in your driveway. This is a fairly easy uh, hitch to install. So the number one step here is to check and see if you have a spare tire. Some of these don't. Uh, if you do have a spare tire, check your owner's manual. It'll tell you how to go ahead and lower your spare tire and that gives you working room underneath here. Uh, step two is going to say in the directions to remove your exhaust uh, both sides. We found um, on this car, on certain hitches, you don't have to remove it at all. On this particular one, we only need to remove one side. Um, I have a can of silicone spray and I like to spray the exhaust hangers here and we have some up here. And let that sit for a couple of minutes. We've been doing that so we can get right to removing them. Uh, if you have a pry bar, this makes it very easy. Um, on this particular one, you're going to want to push the two outsides to the back, and it'll slide the middle section off of the hanger. And just kind of have it sit there. And then we need to remove this one. You can insert your pry bar into the middle and push with your fingers. That'll bring the exhaust down just enough for us to slide our hitch up and over for the install. So right before you grab the hitch to bring it up here, these are actually the bolt holes. And you have this on both sides, but these are the bolt holes that we're going to be using. Now these are exposed to the elements, so I suggest getting like a little bottle brush cleaner and running that in and out just to get any dirt or any corrosion that has built up. And you'll want to do this on both sides. So once the exhaust is lowered on this one side, I found it was easiest just to kind of walk it up at this orientation and then swing it out. And then that'll give you the clearance that you need to start your bolts onto the frame rail. You're going to have two bolts on each side. So I like to start them finger tight. We'll come back and cinch them down. Once you got them started with your fingers, you can come in with a three quarter inch socket and snug these up. repeat that on the other side. Once you add them snugged up with the socket, the next step is going to be to go ahead and torque these to the specifications that are outlined in the instruction manual. That's really it for the installation part of the hitch. The only other thing you want to do is going to go ahead and button up the exhaust again, put that back up there. If you have a spare tire, go ahead and mount that to the underside of your vehicle and you're finished. And that's going to do it for our look at the Draw Tight Class 3 hitch on our 2019 Acura RDX.